The World Poker Tour. The biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. The WPT is a series of international high-stakes poker tournaments that can turn amateur players into millionaires and make professionals into superstars. With millions of dollars on the line, it's time for these three players to live the dream of fame, fortune, and the one thing money can't buy. A WPT title tonight on the World Poker Tour. From Connecticut and the Foxwoods Resort Casino, tonight we bring you the exciting conclusion of the World Poker Finals. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Sexton along with Vince Van Patten coming to you from the colossal Foxwoods Resort Casino for the final stages of the World Poker Finals. Now Mike, our game is definitely in the home stretch, but as you recall, action started off fast with WPT champion Lee Markholt getting rivered by the 24-year-old internet pro Matt Stout. What a spade, butt naked right Next, here. we saw two gambling style calls by the self-proclaimed sick man, Sohel Shamseddin. The first led to heartbreak for talented and amateur Kirk Kohlberg, and the second crushed the dreams of accomplished tournament pro Eric Froehlich. Such a bad call. I am sick! I'm all in. Oh. 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 Wow, they snapped me like that. And when WPT champion Cornell Sipan doubled through young Matt Stout, he threw our table into a virtual three-way tie. With the over $900,000 first place well. prize and the coveted WPT championship <laughs> title point, still up for grabs. Well, it's anyone's race to win. The question is, who's going to cross the finish line first? Uh, we have no idea, but there's only one way to find out. Let's go watch some gamble. The final table of the World Poker Finals about to resume. We started five days ago with 353 players. We are down to our final three. The winner tonight is going to take home over $900,000. And as you can see, they have about the same amount of chips, about the same percentage of chips. A star about to be born here at Foxwoods. The Annies are 10,000, blinds 40 and 80,000. The cards have been dealt. Let's go to the felt. Action on the self-proclaimed sick man himself, so Helsham said in. He's got a queen 10, pretty good starting hand. Well, he's on the button, in position as we say. He's going to make it 225,000 to go. Into the young internet pro, Matt Stout quickly folding out. Cornell Simpan from Houston. Look at this, he picks up the bullets. Pair of aces. Cornell going for a second WPT title tonight. And this is a good way to put another trophy on the mantle, Vince, when you pick up two aces in the big blind after someone's raised it. I'm all in. Wow, he's going all in here. For nearly $3.5 million. Now that would seem like an overraise to me. And he chases away his victim. So hell. And I'm kind of surprised at that. I mean, you got quality hand. You're not supposed to chase them away. You're supposed to get some value for your aces. If you get beat, you get beat. Well, you know, sometimes players like to make over bets because it looks suspicious like they don't have a big hand. Maybe that's what he was trying to do, but I'm with you, Vince. Seemed like a vast over bet to me. I would have raised it much smaller than that in hopes to get some action. All right, back to this hand. Matt Stout with a 6-5 of hearts. Going to come out of the blocks and raise it to 200,000. Cornell going out. And now so hell the sick man with a king nine. I call him the sick man because he calls himself a sick man at the poker table. He plays wild. <laughs> He's going to make this call, Mike. Uh, I like so what the hell, Sham said a little bit better. Here comes a flop. Oh, what a flop for Sohel. He's flopped three kings. It's come king, king, four with two hearts. What a thing of beauty. Matt Stout has flopped a flush throw. Sohel leads right out and bets 150,000 into the pre-flop razor. Doesn't do the obvious. Usually when a guy takes over control in first position, he's not that strong. So hell playing this nicely because we know he is that strong. Well, Matt Stout with the flush draw is going to make the call. Yep. Hoping to get lucky. Here's the turn card. And he does get lucky. Look at that card. Three of hearts comes off. Matt Stout has made a flush. So hell has three kings. Action on him. He's going to lead right out and bet 300,000. Well, Matt has the flush, so my guess he's going to raise it. Well, Vince, when you have two little hearts in this situation, like he does, you don't want to just call here and give your opponent a chance to hit a heart in case he's got a heart in his hand, which would beat you. Good point. So you're certainly going to raise it here. And Matt doing just that. He's going to raise it up to 720,000. Now, even though Sohel has three kings, if you're sitting in this seat, you're pretty petrified right now. You think your opponent's either got a flush, a full house, or at worst, three kings with a bigger kicker. 
I'm all in. Call. But so hell goes all in. Doesn't even hesitate. He's quickly called by Matt. I got a flush again. And has the cards line games. matched out about an 80% favorite to knock Sohail Shamsedin out of this tournament three, four, in third three, place. Four, yeah, well, this is the hand of the tournament. I have him covered. A complete momentum swing. Flush against the set. He's facing elimination. I have a flush. Tell him he has three of a kind. Needs a king, a three, a four, or a nine. This is a six and a half million dollar pot here. Whoever wins, it's going to be the monster chip leader at this final table. And so hell would be out if he loses. Uh, he's got to catch a king, a nine, a four, or three. That's it. Nothing else will do for him. Deuce. God! And a nine comes off he on the river. Oh, no! But so what the hell, Shamsen? I guess I won. I haven't looked. It says, what the hell? Let me sit back down and play some more. A terrible beat for the young internet star Matt Stout. The tournament was probably his if he wins that pot. Well, he's got a lot of class, shakes hands. He's almost broke right now. I tried to get it in good. So. <laughs> but one of the total events, so Helsham 7 is now a massive chip leader. It did go either way. Either way. Wild Poker continuing from Foxwood. Stay with us on the World Poker Tour. So hell, I played with him in Houston. We're both from Houston. Yes! Maniac. Yes! Unpredictable. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Tough opponent. Matt Stout is uh, very savvy, very good. Plays a lot of poker. He's got a lot of history online. And I love this game. But if you ask me, if you want to hear the truth, I think I'm definitely the best player at that table. We are back at the Foxworth World Poker Finals. Well, there you see Matt Stout still devastated from the beat he took on the river just a moment ago. Let's take a look at it again. He's facing elimination. I have a flush. Tell him he has three of a kind. Needs a king, a three, a four, or a nine. God! Oh, man. I hate when that happens. I guess I won. I haven't looked. I'd rather play spin the bottle with Roseanne Barr. <laughs> Right now, Matt Stout would, too, I can tell you that, instead of suffering through that again. Well, he's on the morphine drip right now. Very short stacked. And the annies are going up to 15,000. Blinds are 60 and 120,000. Let's go to the felt. Action on Cornell. The Houston Bandit, he's got a queen deuce, and he mucks it. Well, so hell, Shamson and now looks down at the worst. And you can have a seven deuce. It is suited, though. But he lays it down. Yeah. Matt gets lucky, gets to stick around, wins that without any effort. Not often the very, very, very short stacks get a ground skinner, as we say, meaning you give them the blinds and the annies. Okay, next hand, so hell quickly folding 7 6. And now Matt's oh, going to push it all in. He's got king 8. It's desperado time, but Cornell with an ace deuce has made the call. Star, sorry, you know, I was calling, obviously. <laughs> Well, as the cards lie, Cornell Champagne about a 3-2 to favorite to win this pot and eliminate Matt Stout from this tournament. I'm the favorite, though. I'm a lucky guy. You didn't know that. I might just flop kings full. <laughs> well, so far, so good for Matt as he outdraws his opponent on the flop. Come 8-7-3. Oh, got the spades covered. Nice little comeback if his hand should hold up here. First. Well, Matt's got two eights now. He's going to turn a wheel with like a, a wheel draw. Comes like the a turn, four, right? nine of hearts, also good for Matt. So we are down to the river. The only way Cornell Simpan can win this pot is to catch an ace on the river. <laughs> Nothing else will do for him. <laughs> Have I not been unlucky enough in this tournament, Cornell? Oh, it's a king. Matt has made kings up. Didn't need it though, just had to dodge an ace, which he did. Back to the grind. And Vince, he's back in it with a million. We're coming back too from Foxwoods on the World Poker Tour. Stay with us. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. Today we're at Foxwoods Resort Casino and our World Poker Finals. The first place winner is going to take home over $900,000. Very prestigious players have won this event. They are the who's who of poker players. Howard Letterer, Boyd Corkins, Tuan Lee, Nick Shulman, Manad Medic, Mike Vila, and Jonathan Little. Before it was televised, the Hall of Famer, Mike Sexton won the very first 10K inaugural event here at Foxwoods. 
any poker player would definitely dream of adding their name to this list to be part of the World Poker Finals winners. It is quite a list of former champions. There he is, Mike Sexton, taking the championship down. That's when you were all fresh and eager and a great player. <laughs> it was actually 1992, Vance. I was very fortunate to come out on top in that tournament. And one of these three guys are going to add their name to that list of winners here. We have some problems for Matt Stout, still on the short stack. But this time he's picked up the double skirts, the pair of queens. Well, he's on the button, Vance, being very deliberate. Oh. Finally goes all in. Behind him, the Houston Bandit, Cornell with an ace nine. He just called an all-in bet of match with an ace deuce a moment ago. Here he's going to lay down an ace nine. Kind of surprising. Only one to beat is so hell, but he doesn't have much of a hand here, just a 10-7. No. Somebody wake up with like fours. Queen. See, Matt wanted action there with the two queens. Ridiculous. Could be a very good read there by Cornell. Perhaps there was a tell there that he saw because I'm kind of surprised he dropped ace nine. Already. All right. Little matched out, picking up the blinds <laughs> and antes, and it's not insignificant. It's 225,000 a pop. Damn. All right, blinds are still 60 and 120,000. Matt coming back a little bit, and this time it's on so hell. He's got 4 3 off suit. He quickly folds. Oh. Now Matt Stout with a jack five says all in. Cornell with a junky three deuce. Well, he's not going to call with that hand, that's for sure. And look at this. There you go, three times in a row. Matt Stout on the short stack has moved all in. Real big. He doubled up Real once. Big. I'm better than it looked. Up the blinds there. Pecking his way back here. He deserves it. Had that awful beat on the river early on against yeah. the Madman. All right, action this time back on Matt. He's got a little suited connector. Four or five of diamonds. All in. Again, he goes all in. Cornell's got king five. These are not two guys you want to just keep moving all in against because eventually you're going to get called, and you don't want that to happen with five four. I couldn't be your high card. It's going to work. Nobody's calling him yet. Add it together. Matt Stout picking up another set of blinds and Annie's. Back like a bad rash. We're coming back too. Stay with us here on the World Poker Tour. I don't look at it as a, a mathematical warfare. I look at it as a psychological warfare. And every hand to me is like creating music. It's an art. The best you can do is create the best artistic play at the time as you can. Now what happens at the end is totally irrelevant. And then it becomes more of a psychological game and artistic game versus mathematical. Even though when it comes to math, there is nothing I don't know. <laughs> Poker Tour and the World Poker Finals. I'm Vince Van Patten alongside Mike Sexton. Okay, the action's about to start up again. Let's check the chip count and get back to the felt. As you can see, the guy with most of the chips is so Sohelsham Seddon. He's got close to six million. Cornel Simpan with three million. And Matt Stout still sticking around with about 1.5. All right, to the table. Quick fold by Matt Stout. Well, this man he just moved all in with a minute ago, the 5 4 diamonds. And Cornell Simpan now with a ace deuce is going to make it 350 to go. Oh, and look at this. So hell has picked up a pair of tens. And that is big in a three handed poker game. But he's just calling here, Vince. Starting to like my fold. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that says he likes his fold. We will see. Well, he won't like it now. He no. folded the four or five of diamonds. <laughs> He'd had a pair and a straight flush draw. The Houston Bandit with just deuces checks. So hell going to play this really slow. Checks his tens. His over pair. Well, I'm very surprised to check that. A three on the turn. Again, it goes check, check very quickly here. River card coming up. And now a king comes off. And again, it's checked, and so hell never took a bet with these two tens. Very timid play here, Vince. That's extremely surprising. I mean, self-proclaimed sick man, wild guy at the poker table. Maybe it wasn't so good. I mean, how could he not bet on the flop or yeah, the turn when his opponent checked twice? I don't get it. I don't get it. On that board? If I had two small red cards, I win. I'll tell you one thing. Since he's taking the chip lead, he's playing very timid, conservative poker. Forget about the wildness he's talking about. 
All right, and this time he's got a big hand.